Hey, what's up guys? DJ LeFave here with a little tutorial. We're going to show you how you can open up two versions of OBS on your computer at the same time. Um, and then I'm going to try to see if I can stream to two different sources with those two windows open, two versions of OBS open, with the same thing using a virtual camera. So uh, here we go, wish me luck. So the first thing you wanna do is you want to find your OBS icon. And this is how you enable multiple versions of OBS on your computer. So I'm going to right click on that icon and then I'm gonna click on properties. And then in properties button, you're gonna see this target right here. There it is, and in target at the end of your, uh, at the parentheses right there, do one space, do dash M-U-L-T-I, multi, dash M-U-L-T-I. And that's all you have to do to get multiple versions of OBS running. We're gonna click okay. It's gonna say you need administrative privileges to do it. Guess what? It's my computer, yo, I can do what I want. So I'm gonna hit continue. Bam. So now there are multiple versions of OBS open. So I should be able to click on that version of OBS and it says, hey, it's already running. No crap. I opened it. I'm on it. Launch that sucker anyway. So now the second version of OBS is alive and running. There it is right there on the screen. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to stream to diff two different locations, right? So, um, now that I have two of them open. But you want the same thing going on both screens. So in order to do this, um, there is this feature called Virtual Cam. So I'm going to show you on this one because it, it's, uh, it's, oh, I'll bring this one over here, whatever. There we go. So now we are in the screen. Um, this one on the left is the one that I'm currently recording on. So once you have downloaded, installed Virtual Cam, it's found here in the tools section. So you just go to tools and you click on Virtual Cam. And then another window is going to pop up and it's going to say, you can have this set to auto start every time. I don't do that. Um, but we're just going to click start. So now virtual cam is running. So I'll close this out. Now in your next uh, OBS screen, the, the one that you just opened, what you're going to do is you're going to, well, first off, it's got this saved in there. We don't want that in there. Get rid of that. All right, we're going to add a source. So I'll click on add a source and we're going to do a video capture device. And then you're going to say, well, we'll call this one. Oh, what would I call it? <laughs> don't even know what I called it. All right, it's called a video capture device. Uh, in the device, you're going to scroll down here and you're going to do OBS camera. And then we'll click OK. So now you have just brought everything that's on the screen in the first OBS instance over to the second OBS instance. So there is a ton of me here, a ton of me there, a ton of me here, a ton of me there. So check, we now have two instances of OBS running and we're now going to test right now on the spot if we can get them both live streaming. So I'm gonna bring uh, this one version of OBS over here so you do not see my, uh, my wonderful, wonderful um, stream key because you know it, it's very important to keep some things secret right so I'm, I'm right now in YouTube um, test live stream right there and then I'm gonna say create stream and then it's gonna give me my stream key so I'm gonna go copy my stream key and I'm gonna put it in my OBS stream settings all there okay we hit OK and we click start streaming and we're gonna see if I am showing up in the YouTubes. So if people are now following on YouTube and they, they see it, we got normal latency set up. We're doing a double, double broadcast right now. So I am waiting for it to say you are good to go. Connecting streaming software, okay, good. So now we're going to go live and going live, going live. Come on, YouTube, come on, you can do it. Perfect, we are live right now on YouTube. So we are doing, uh, for everybody who's tuning in right now, we're doing a live, let's put this in the, in the chat box, um, live test of two instances of OBS streaming to two different sources using virtual cam. All right, so there's that. Okay, so we have our first instance on YouTube right now. It's on YouTube Live. We are streaming. So in order to get the sound, though, you, you've got the camera coming on over here on this other screen, but there's no sound. So you've got to input your, your sound device right there. So I'm going to add an audio source. The audio I use, though, is ASIO. It's a little nice little plugin that they offer in 
um, YouTube, I mean in YouTube, ha, huh, in OBS, that allows you to take in a, a ASIO based source. Now for me, I use the Zoom Live Track L8. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to then set up my master left and my master right. And we're going to click OK there. OK. So what this means now is that I'm going to have. Um, everything coming out of my mixer is going to come out of this OBS and this one. If, if when we're all said and done, it ends up working, I'm going to be very, very pleased. So I'm opening up Facebook right now because let me bring this one right on over here. Whoa, there I am. There I am. Okay. And then I'm going to go to my personal page and I'm just going to do a, a go live here, uh, clicking on live video. And then I'm going to click connect and uh, we're going to put our stream key in and all that other uh, good features in a moment. Um, so connect. I'm going to get my stream. And I want to do this too. Uh, you can do just yourself, only me, when you're setting up your... Um, I'll bring this over here. Right here, you can do, uh, you, you click this down box inside of Facebook, and you can stream to only yourself. So when you're doing a test, that's kind of cool. I guess I could have done the same thing for YouTube. I didn't even think about it till now. So I'm going to copy my stream key. I'm going to bring this version of OBS over here again so you don't see my stream key on there. So I'm going to go into stream. I'm going to put in my first select Facebook as the uh, service. I'm going to put in the stream key right there, and we hit OK. And then I'm going to click Start Streaming from the second instance of OBS. So the second instance is streaming, and, and it's picking up my video right there. Look at that. So now you have, um, we're just going to call this a test, and we're going to go live. And ladies and gentlemen, I now have, with two versions of OBS, I have two of the exact same stream going over the interwebs. So there is literally no need for anything like, um, uh, what, what is it? You need uh, restream or you need um, X split or any of that. Right now you can see that I am on. Um, can you see it? Is it too much? Maybe, maybe you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably can't. But uh, on that screen, I have uh, right now, I have my Facebook on the right, I'm streaming, and then I have my YouTube on the left. So there you go. With two instances of OBS and a little finagling, you two can have two streams going on at the same time with two different services with minimal effort. There you go. So that's a, that's a nice quick little uh, short video for you. Uh, minimize that. I'm going to minimize that. And then I'm going to hit uh, uh, stop streaming on both. And uh, there, we did it. So hope you guys stood around for all that. And then um, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, share it if this is useful information. I'm always having a fun time trying to figure out fun things within OBS and, and all things technical, whether it's creating cool backgrounds with PowerPoint or getting your DJ set over Zoom and, and adjusting those things. But um, this is just a, a nice, quick, raw video on how to do that, like like all mine. It's all, all, all killer, no filler. This is DJ LaFave, out.